Today we're going to be talking about the two basic automotive AC systems. You have your accumulator system with an orifice tube and you have your dryer system with a expansion valve. Um, we're going to talk about the basic functions of each and the key differences between the two. All right, so right now we're talking about an orifice tube accumulator system. This system is also known as a CCOT system, the cycling clutch orifice tube system. It's mostly found on GMs, Fords, Chryslers, all the way from early 90s up to present. So you start the compressor, you come out of the compressor through your discharge line, your hot high pressure line. You go into your condenser, which is actually going to release heat from the refrigerant. It's going to cool it down and come out through the liquid line. In this case, in the liquid line, your orifice tube, it could either be at the condenser or at the evaporator, somewhere in between. So your orifice tube is your expansion device. And that's where you go from a hot, high pressure liquid to a cold, low pressure liquid. This can be called a flooded evaporator system because your whole evaporator is actually flooded with cool refrigerant. When the refrigerant leaves the evaporator, on this system it goes into the accumulator. Any extra liquid refrigerant that is in the system accumulate here and it gives a little bit more time to evaporate off before it gets back to the compressor because you just want the gas getting back to the compressor. All right, so this is a CCTXV, Cycling Clutch Thermostatic Expansion Valve System. Commonly found on most vehicles through the early 80s to early 90s. Now more companies are going to the expansion valve setup just because you have a little bit more regulation with that valve than you do in an orifice tube. Your refrigerant is going to leave your compressor and it goes through the discharge line through the condenser and here it's actually going to release heat into the air so it can lower the pressure down. When the refrigerant leaves the condenser it goes through the liquid line into the dryer. A dryer has a desiccant in it to take any moisture in the system out. It also has filtering properties that any particles that may be in the refrigerant will be left there. Then to the expansion valve it's a device regulated by temperature. There is a metering device in there that's actually reading the temperature of the incoming and the outcoming refrigerant from the evaporator and making the determination to let more or to restrict the refrigerant going into the evaporator. And from the evaporator, when it comes out, we're back to a gas, and we're back to the compressor. There are some key differences between the orifice tube and the expansion valve system. The orifice tube is a fixed orifice, so you can't change the inside diameter of the tube, so you're always getting the same volume. On an expansion valve, you can actually change the volume based on the needs of the system. The expansion valve system, you have a dryer as opposed to an accumulator, and a dryer just has a desiccant in it, and it filters any debris that might be in the system. It's also located in the liquid line. An accumulator is located in the suction line, going from the evaporator back to the compressor. It has a desiccant as well. What it actually does is accumulates any extra liquid refrigerant that may be in the system gives it some extra time to evaporate so it won't damage the compressor and last on the orifice tube system you have a cycling pressure switch it monitors the low pressure side of the system if the pressure drops too low then it's going to cut the compressor off and keep it from freezing up your evaporator on a expansion valve system what you have is a thermostat and it actually has a probe that will make contact with the evaporator. Newer systems have a thermistor which does the basic same function. When the evaporator gets to a certain temperature, it'll cycle the compressor off to keep the evaporator from freezing up.